Hello everyone, we are Anna Maria and Edward, or Two Curly Heads Wandering. Welcome to our channel. We are a young couple that enjoys traveling and we have decided why not to document our uh, experiences and share it with everyone, with our family, with our friends and why not with the rest of the world. Our very first vlog comes from France where we have explored Strasbourg and Colmar. Colmar, it's a small city located at about 73 kilometers or a bit over 45 miles journey that will take you 52 minutes by car and 30 minutes by train. Obviously we have chosen the train because it's more pleasant and quicker obviously. But before we had brunch uh, around 11 it was a bit difficult to find a proper place for a proper um, breakfast but anyway we have found something, we've grabbed a coffee and some French croissants, obviously, for the road. Our hotel in Strasbourg was located at about 10 minutes walking distance from the historical center of Strasbourg and from the train station. So we have purchased our TGV tickets from the ticket machine and it was a straightforward process. They were 16 euros per person one way without any discount and you will receive the email uh, with uh, your tickets that will be scanned by the railway staff. Our train journey was a pleasant one, especially because we've been entertained by a senior gentleman that we believe he must have been a history teacher because he was very knowledgeable about the area and he explained everything with a very passionate um, attitude about every hill that we could spot on the window. So we reached our destination, Colmar, and we had a lovely 15 minutes walk to get to the old center. I must say that it was a very clean and coquette city. The weather was really kind to us. It was warm and sunny and the atmosphere just so relaxing and everything looked promising. Colmar is called the Little Venice because of its beautiful canals with bridges decorated with colorful flowers and bright red padlocks attached by the lovers as a symbol of love and commitment. Walking is our preferred method to discover cities and the same with this one but if you don't like walking you can visit the city by boat and departures are every 30 minutes at a very affordable price. Colmar is based in a region called Alsace being at the border with Germany and Switzerland. This medieval town with its half timber architectural style it's a perfect blend of French and German influences. I prefer personally to call these buildings gingerbread houses because, well, they look like that, very beautiful, with their walls that are either painted with amazing murals or they are decorated with ornate carvings. This medieval town, well preserved, takes you to a fairy tale story, just that it's in real life. And it looks like even the Disney movie, The Beauty and the Beast, might have been inspired by this little town. We love walking, like I've mentioned before, because you get the opportunity to find narrow streets that are real gems. Another option to visit the city is by using the little train. You have to make a booking online for about 8 euros per person, for adult actually and you will have your city tour. Unfortunately, the downside of this option is that the trains are taking a break between November and March.
and the struggles for a good selfie, right? <laughs> This is the little train that I was telling you about earlier. It looks very pretty, isn't it? So yeah, it's perfect for someone that doesn't really enjoy walking. Or for people that have some health issues and they can't walk for long distances, especially when it's hot weather. By now, I can say that I was already in love with this city. Just look at this building, how beautiful it is. The horse carriages, yes, they are another option to visit this place. But, as you can see, it's a bit posh, meaning that it's a bit pricey as well. So, think about it. You can hear medieval music around the city performed by street artists that will take you to a place that feels out of this world. Just imagine for a moment if these walls could talk how many things they've seen, how many love stories and despicable situations they have witnessed. And if you're not necessarily a fan of medieval times like we are, it's perfectly fine. Maybe knowing that Colmar is one of the best places to visit for the Christmas markets in this region and maybe in Europe that attracts visitors from all around the world can convince you to give it a try. This street will lead us to an amazing building called Fister House. Fister House is one of Colmar's most famous half-timbered houses, dating back to the 16th century and the symbol of the city's architectural heritage. As an artist myself, I was astonished by the complexity of the mural and no wonder it's emblematic. Such a delightful view. As you can see, a lot of people are stopping and admiring. <laughs> and who can refuse a freshly baked cookie, isn't it? It was delicious actually.
And yeah, I had a croissant as well because why not? And this one, I have to admit, I haven't really shared with Eddie. It was just for me. We had just a day in Colmar, but I believe it will be very good if you can allocate at least two days because this city has so much to offer. And if you love Gothic architecture, St. Martin's Church is a perfect gem to explore. There are a multitude of shops with sweets, pastries, Christmas ornaments, cheese and meat products and plenty of small bars where you can have some rest and enjoy some drinks. We had a quick break where I had the Naperol spritz and Eddie had the local beer and then we have continued our trip.
There is a market not very far after you enter the old center with fresh fruits and vegetables, cheese and pastries and other goodies that you can try and buy. But the most important thing, they have toilets that you can use because yes, it's very difficult in almost all the locations to find this kind of facilities. After a day of roaming on the streets of this beautiful city, we were tired and we decided to have dinner. So we have found a nice restaurant next to a canal and I can say the cuisine in this area is not typical French because of the German influence, obviously, and the food is a bit different. I have tried an Alsacian pasta and it was tasty but a bit too heavy for my taste and Eddie had a dish with some pork meat and vegetables, I think, and I believe he enjoyed that more than I did. But we have paired our food with a local wine from this area. And I must say that the wines produced in this region, the Alsacian region, are very powerful, bold, and full of personality, if I can say, with a crisp touch. And yes, we have enjoyed it while we celebrated our nine year anniversary. It was really nice and pleasant and the waiters are quite friendly here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Take care. Welcome to Strasbourg, guys, the house of a variety of important European institutions, including the European Court of Human Rights. What we can assure you is that Strasbourg is much more than men in suits and glass buildings. This historic center of Strasbourg, known as Grand Isle or uh, Grand Island, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Strasbourg is home to many well-preserved medieval buildings and landmarks. I'm not sure about you, but in my case France means croissants, eclairs, baguettes, champagne, having a variety of options that will fit your budget and your taste wise. The dynamic in Strasbourg is a bit different comparing with Colmar. Here it's a bit crowded and people are more reserved and I'm not saying that they are not friendly because they are, but yes, they are a bit um, colder than there. The beauty of visiting UNESCO sites is that you will have the opportunity to see buildings, streets and shops that are authentic because every refurbishment must be done in a way that will not alter the original. touristic attraction is the Notre Dame Cathedral with an amazing Gothic architecture that I dearly love and admire. It's a pretty visit and for those that are not scared of heights, they can climb it to the top and enjoy a stunning view of the city. I have always loved the stained glass and when the light touches the colors, it just creates a beautiful effect inside that space. Inside the cathedral, you will admire a large astronomical clock dating to, to the renaissance period and if you manage to be there every day at half past 12 
you will have a beautiful surprise so just go there at that time and you will discover on Saturdays you can find few open air markets like fruit and vegetable markets books and antiques and a lot of souvenirs the streets are roaming with people and that gives you a big city vibes but with a medieval twist This ceiling is just amazing, look how beautiful and delicate the paintings are. After the cathedral we have continued our journey and we have discovered this beautiful building where the nature is blending perfectly. You add up some warm light and everything looks more welcoming. Same as in Colmar, you can visit the city by foot with the little train and uh, by boat. Strasbourg and most of the cities in this region are bilingual, speaking French and German, but don't worry, they speak English too. We have observed that um, they are not crazy about English, really, but people are still polite and reserved, not very bubbly like um, other places, and um, I don't know, maybe after a few good glasses of champagne, <laughs> they will change. Obviously, France is the mother of champagne. We actually visited a store just with champagne and we bought one, um, I will say, unique bottle. So um, don't miss trying a champagne that is authentic and uh, unique. You can have a nice walk along the canal where uh, the touristic boats are going to take you if you're choosing this option. And the same as Colmar, I would like to remind you that Strasbourg is the perfect 
place to visit during Christmas or around Christmas period because often Strasbourg is referred as the capital of Christmas because it hosts one of the oldest and most famous Christmas markets in Europe. The market dates back to 1570 and um, attracts millions of visitors each year. This is the end of our first episode. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Take care.